Greetings. Today we're gonna learn um, how to record um, a specific region uh, of your screen. Like, uh, let's say uh, this uh, subscribe uh, button, for example. Um, we'll be using OBS. It's free and you can use it uh, quite simply. Also, we'll need an uh, After Effects and Illustrator. So if you don't have those installed, um, stop the video now and get them ready. So, um, uh, the, the basics. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to set up our recording area with OBS. Uh, the easiest method I found is to uh, go to settings. Um, uh, first of all, we need to add this scene. Uh, now we have a scene as this display capture. We're gonna capture our secondary display. Um, you can't really see it, uh, but it's here. So, okay, basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go uh, here to the settings, uh, to the video, and uh, you usually would have something like uh, like this. It's a full HD resolution, right? So you would get a screen like that, yeah? So, but we only want to record around this subscribe button. So we will have to reduce this area. So let's try to reduce it. We need something around uh, 700 and uh, 200. Hit apply, um, and then just move the the screen around till you <coughs> make the it the size you want. Okay, let's adjust the size a bit. Let's do it like six eighty. Yeah, well, I say it's okay. So now uh, we have the, we can see that the mouse is here. We are recording the mouse and let's hit the record. Now it's recording and with the say making a video, we are explaining something. Uh, we are actually, it's the, the most uh, use cases of making a, a GIF. Okay, we record for a bit and let's stop recording now. So uh, the next thing um, you, well, you have to so yeah you must find um, the uh, where the output is and where your files will be located after they, they will be recorded so mine are located here so this should be one of these files <clears throat> let's check them out yeah we have the, our subscribe button and our arrow animation the next part is we must create a, a template um, that template should be the size of our um, resolution of this um, video. So keep that number in mind. And let's open our Illustrator. It doesn't matter how big uh, of a canvas you are making. Okay, so next we're gonna create a frame in Illustrator. We select the rectangle tool and let's draw some squares. Um, to make this easier, let's change the uh, stroke uh, to transparent and let's change it to, let's say, red. Um, now we have a red rectangular and we must shape to the size of our um, previous composition. So 600 by 200. 680 and 200. We, we, we want to uh, make uh, a space uh, of 15 pixels on top and on the bottom. So we're gonna make a copy of this square. So simply uh, control copy and you can then uh, paste in front, control F. So now we select this square, let's make it blue and let's add um, 230, so 15 above, 15 below. It will be centered exactly, and we can move this now to the back. So right click on the square and arrange, uh, send backward. Okay, we have now two squares. We wanna make uh, a frame here, so 
we'll select the red square uh, again control copy control F so it makes a copy of it now we're gonna change this to transparent and this to like stroke to gray and then we're gonna hold this um, little circle and the mouse will change to this like uh, re rectangular thingy uh, round thingy yeah and we're gonna drag it so and the size we want so it'll be like this now okay now we have it these three layers you can now go to the layers tab and we're gonna make a copy of those layers so uh, keep this selected and go here duplicate layer one so we'll have now a copy of them I'll just uh, click the eye and uh, t toggle those layers up we'll need them later so now we have a copy of those layers if it's if it's really complicated I'll um, add uh, a link to the, the illustrator file with the already finished project so now we'll have to create uh, this as our um, frame to hide this part of the video so uh, this will, will be done in two parts so simply follow along um, we may must make a copy of this red rectangular we're gonna need two of them so let's just simply duplicate like that um, and we'll have two of them let's hide one of them and we don't need this so far and now you just select both of those layers like properties and uh, you need to find this pathfinder and we'll need this uh, intersect option oh, I'm sorry it w we will need uh, actually not insert just exclude yeah so we get these two bars okay next we need um, that rectangular and this shape so we select them again and we go here and then again exclude so we are left with these so let's um, let's change it to something like uh, blue let's remove stroke for now so we have this and we have this so we have this shape now we can group them together um, next thing we're gonna change them to white uh, if we want the white background and for stroke um, sometimes you get some gaps between them so you just um, go to stroke and add like um, two should be enough so not be anything like changed but yeah we have these so let's go back to our previous layers um, let's toggle them back we'll not need not gonna need these two layers so just simply select them and delete them so now a final product is this we have um, a masking layer and uh, our frame so let's save this okay uh, we'll already have frame from previous iterations let's save it Okay, he doesn't want to save it in that name let's name something like frame 2 okay we have our frame now we need to go to after effects uh, let's click on, on the new composition okay I previously already tried this so we'll have um, this as we require so you can check what you need is here 600 by 230 it must be exact the same size you should like unlock the aspect ratio and change this to these to match okay and also the background color should be white okay let's go and click OK this will generate that um, go here on the left you have the composition and right click import file select your uh, illustrator file and you must select this import composition and retain layers click import you, you get a frame to here just drag it down here um, double click it it will open like that um, click copy select it and just 
copy it. Oh, you can do it here. You just cut it. Let's go back here. Uh, click uh, paste. Uh, you must toggle this snapping tool and then uh, hold it here and drag it to the middle. It will snap automatically. Okay, we have this here. So far looking good. Now we need to import our footage. Let's go here, uh, click import again file and let's import our footage. Let's click import. Okay, let's drag the footage down here. Okay, looking good. Oh, we have a slight problem right here. Okay, um, took me a while, forgot uh, you can fix this very simply um, by clicking this um, continuously rasterize thingy and this is gonna just disappear um, okay also don't need this last frame layer and now we have our frame um, our white frame with the um, with the gray frame around it so okay it's a final product um, okay next uh, thing is the timeline we have 30 seconds but we only need um, 10 so hold shift and drag it and I'm gonna click just like that okay so we have this working now let's go and save it uh, you have to go to export Adobe Media Encoder Q. Okay, we have it here. Um, next, uh, click on the animated GIF. Um, go to frame rate, change it to like 10. Um, quality is okay. Uh, click on the auto name, select where you want to save it. Let's say save it here in our recordings folder. Okay, everything looking good. Uh, click OK. And let's next go here and click play. It will render quite fast. Okay, finished. Now go to that folder, open your uh, GIF, and here we have the final product uh, with the frame and everything. You can make different versions of um, this. Let's go to the 100%. Also, uh, if you want to resize this, uh, because uh, After Effects doesn't generate like small um, GIF files, uh, there is um, a website uh, easedgif.com that you can um, like optimize your GIFs. So just um, upload it here. Okay, let's do it. Uh, recordings. Okay, our comp GIF it okay now we must like go to the 100 compression level click optimize give and optimize to the your liking but it reduced it like 70% so it's quite good savings so um, choose the quality you want you can compress it even further yeah, it doesn't go very lower so you can like I think we can go like 77 you just have to play around um, depends on the your gift so the quality looks still still decent so just then you just go click save and you get your optimized um, GIF with a lower size so that is it um, that's how you uh, create um, an animated GIF with um, borders. So thanks for watching. If you like this long uh, video, just uh, hit like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.